Well, welcome to the next training video, and I'm so excited you're here because this is where we're going to get into the nitty gritty of how you can maximize your usage with the Ridiculously Amazing Life digital planning system and the Good Notes app. So are you ready to get into it? Let's do this. So my, my suggestion is do this one of two ways. Either binge watch this whole entire episode and then come back and visit each step, um, or what you can do is watch, and as I've done one of the little lessons, pause, and then move on to the next one. So you can start to get how to use this and exactly the power of what you've purchased. And if by chance you've hopped into this video and you haven't done the getting started video, please go back and watch that one first because without that, you're not gonna be able to do any of this and I won't be covering those again. So without further ado, let's get into your Ridiculously Amazing Life Digital Planner. All right, so let me pop up a different screen here. All right, so here is a look at my personal iPhone here and I'm gonna walk you through the how-tos now. So we go into the GoodNotes app and what you're gonna see, if you have successfully done the previous import with the covers to the companion notebooks and the planner, this is what you're gonna see those first four. Might be in a different order for you, but um, this is what you should have there. So now what we're gonna do is get into the actual planner. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that one. And here we have the home screen. Now, you will see one very important key thing that if for some reason you're ever tripped up in this, this is the first thing that you need to check. Is you see that little blue dot up there. That's the no draw icon. So that gives all the hyperlinks back their functionality. Does that make sense? So while you're in some of the other features, it kind of like locks it for you while you're working and then you go back so that you can start moving again throughout the planner. Does that make sense? Okay, so every planner comes with these key tabs here across the top and down the side. So you have the home screen, the directory, the resources, and then a look ahead at 2019. And then down the side, you have July through December. Now we wound up um, doing this special because we realized that people only had November and December left to actually utilize this planner. So we decided let's just have fun, sharply discount the price and allow people to get in and get their toes wet with experiencing the planner and getting really hyped up for 2019. And so you will see that the July and August, it's just the month at a glance. Um, we started beta testing in July. In September, the planner went on sale. And so September through December are the four months that were uh, active and have all the pages in this one. In 2019, it will be the full planner the whole year. So I hope that clears that up for you too. So what we're going to do is I want to show you the resources to start. So just click on that. Every single one of these are hyperlinked to the corresponding page. So we have a page example that shows you the basic setup of the week. We'll get into that in a minute. You have the page stickers and then the quote stickers. Then we'll get into those in another training video. Now I'm gonna click on the lined paper and just show you some of the sheets that um, we have made up that you can copy and paste throughout your planner where you see fit. And then there's the dreams and doodle sheet. And then we just have a general pretty pink one. Now let me go back to the home screen and I wanna take you to the directory next. So this is, this is your staple go-to guide here. So there's a welcome message. Um, you'll have the year 2019, the 12 month at a glance, the year 2019 at a glance. Uh, and then we get into the how-tos of goal setting and the rituals overviews. So that takes you to the pages 
within the planner. These, the second row, everything is interior within the planner. And uh, it just gives you the highlight to how to utilize this. We have deeper training videos that are coming after this that will get you um, understanding more of the depth of using the rituals. But we just wanted a quick reminder as you're getting familiar with this that you could click to the page and go, oh yeah, 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 that one. That's how I utilize this and help live my dream life. Now the bottom three are all hyperlinked to the website and more information. So the planner how-to video, and then you have more information on the rituals. So these are the training videos. And then if for some reason you didn't buy the package with the 2019, this will take you to the link that's either a wait list or you can go ahead and purchase the 2019 planner. So it's all set up there for you, super, super easy. I'll let you look through the second row on your own and go to those training videos, of course, after this. All right, so now let's go back to the home screen. And I want to take you into the month of December and just show you some of the staple pages that are found in every single planner. So we're gonna do a general walkthrough of that right now. So we have December and there we go. These are the stickers that I have sourced and put in here. So we are looking at my planner. <laughs> I don't have a dummy loaded up. Um, so this is December. And of course I had some fun. And one cool feature of this is you can actually zoom in and zoom back out. So you can go right to where you want. And then what I'm also gonna show you is one other little secret, secret trick. If you want, you can hold down the stylus or your finger and then it's gonna give you some options here where you can copy, zoom, insert, and text. I just wanna show you the zoom feature right now because you might be thinking, how do I write that small? Um, so what I would do is zoom and then it's gonna allow me to zoom in even further and write, I go to the right one. Let's do red for Christmas. I'm gonna teach that one in a second. And there we go. Then I can click on the little X here and look at, oh, and I made a little smudge mark. Do you see on the 27th I did that? So there's an eraser tool right next to the, where you see the green highlighter pen. That's what that is. So I'm on, clicked in the handwriting one, which is the fountain pen or the ballpoint. The next one is the highlighter the eraser, and then the lasso tool. We're gonna to get into that here in a second. But I'm gonna click on the eraser, and there we go. I just took away. And watch over the um, love it, whoop, erase, done. And back to my no draw so I can move back throughout the planner. So you see the month at a glance here. And then what I'm gonna do is take you to the week at a glance. Let's go to the resource page because I'm just gonna show you an example of how it's set up. So you have all kinds of personalization that you can do within this planner. And this is just a setup of some of the suggestions on how to run your day. Let me zoom in here. So I created these completed stickers. I personally love just blocking everything off so my eye goes right to what's next in line and what needs to be done. I'm not like, what day of the month is it? What is this? Like this is a visual guide per se, and that's how we use the completed stickers. Now, everybody runs their schedule different. Have you ever bought a planner and it has all these time dates to it, and you don't need that? You just need things that are afternoon, things that are in the morning, or things that are done in the evening, and they just need to get done. It's not a particular time. So we have created stickers where you can organize your time. You don't have to use all three at once. You could do morning and then have your evening with the calendar hours. Um, it's really up to you. And then in the next column, you'll see the stickers that are I have to and I get to. Um, there are things that we just absolutely have to do in our life and our day. Um, but if uh, you follow me, you know I still see that as a blessing that you get to and that you can. Um, however, when you're creating your dream life, you get to do that and that's like amazing. So it's just another mind trick, frame of mind thing where 
you look at that and you're like, gosh, you know, I'm launching this business or I'm, I'm doing this or I'm taking on this project. I'm trying to lose weight. Um, whatever it is in your life, you get to do that. And this is just one way to remind you that those tasks are an absolute blessing and you're choosing this, even if it becomes difficult with what you have to learn and the challenges and obstacles that surface on the way of living your dream. So I'm going to get back off that tangent because boy, I'm like passionate about that one. Uh, so in the next column, you'll see the top three. Do this because there's, you'll see when we get into the rituals that you strategize your day, but then you pick those things that absolutely are the most top priority to get done that day. It's a very popular way to run your schedules and it's because it works. You get those three done and then you can move on to other tasks. Just a fun little quote that you can put in there and just to keep you motivated, this one, let me zoom in. This is the beginning of everything you want. Ah, how fun is that? So the next column, we have created a sticker that is for you people who love a time schedule and need it. Now, um, I will say that um, the 2018, uh, when we created the lines, even though all these are the same, it kind of, their spacing wasn't 100% even. So <laughs> we're correcting that for the 2019, um, but you can copy and paste this and use it to the best. And then I promise you in 2019, that will not be a problem. However, some people don't need these hours. So what you can do is create your own, right? On the days that you need it. You might be somebody who works Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and you work from 11 until 11 at night, let's say. And so in the morning, it's your free time with things that just need to get done. And then you can wind up creating your hours and then just copy and paste it as needed. Does that make sense? Like we're not wasting space here with what doesn't need to be. I hope that that makes sense to you. And then on the weekend, all kinds of fun. And there we go. We have the monthly, we have the weekly. And before we move into the daily sheets, I do wanna let you know that uh, I'm all about the heart guiding you. All right, so before we get into the daily sheets, I wanna go through a couple other things and I'm going to go back to resources and we're gonna to go to a blank page for right now. Let's do the cute pink paper. And so I want to talk about the stylist and the drawing tools. This is a universal stylist. It deals with the touch screen. It's got a fine tip and so it's very precise, right? Some of these stylists have that big bulky uh, point at the end, that little kind of rubber ball thing. And that just, it doesn't work as precise. Some of you might have smart stylist and you can go ahead and sync them with this app. Those three dots up in the right hand corner will take you to that and you'll see the smart stylist option and you can click on that and then go ahead and Bluetooth yours there. Now, let's get into the drawing tools and the pin styles. So you saw me click on that one pin with the red right now. We wrote for red for Christmas. And so I've clicked on that one again. What I'm going to do using my stylus or my finger is I'm going to click on that and then the option screen pops up. So we have presets and we have custom. Let me show you presets or what they have here. These are standard within the GoodNotes app and you can check your pin thickness there. So we'll do one line and this is set up in the fountain pen. There's fountain pen and ballpoint. I'll show you how to get there. Let's do pink and we'll do the thick. So you can see a little bit bigger. Now then when I click edit, this is where you can add colors. Click on the blue. And this is also an option where you can enter your hex code colors here. So you'll see right there is where you enter your hex codes. And if you don't know what a hex code is, don't worry. It's just for people that might be having a business and they have branded colors and they want to use that within their planner. All right, so let's go to custom. Now here's where there's a bunch of different options already generated. Or what we can do is hit the three dots. We can enter color and then we can wind up increasing the thickness of the pin. Let's go eight. 
And let's switch to ballpoint. So I hit with the custom, I'll hit the three. All right, so we've hit the eight. Wanna go back? See how that's totally different? Then one more option. So this is how you switch to the pin style. It's that little gear setting. I'll do it again, gear setting. There we go, and let's switch to ballpoint. Now, how much fun is this? I'm actually gonna switch colors. Let's go to green so you can see the difference now that we switched. Look at that, how much fun is that? Now, I do wanna show you one really quick thing, and I might be jumping ahead in the training, um, is a little fun secret. So what you can do is see that little lasso tool that I just lit up blue? I can grab this and I can move it around. Also then, I clicked on it hard, resize, and look at that. Look at that! So, here's what is so fascinating about this. Have you ever grabbed a notepad and you're beautifully writing it out and then you make a mistake? And then you're like, oh my gosh, I gotta start all over. Or you're making a list and then you're checking things off and then you gotta like create another list that looks cleaner. Or you wind up like having a brilliant idea that should be connected up here. And so you wish you could just move it and pop it up in there, but you can't, right? You can do all that in here. You organize, it's not redoing again and again. And this is what I love about this. So let me show you one other magic thing. So we long press on this again, and you'll see the different options, right? But what I want to address right now is the convert, because I can change the color. Look at that. I just changed it to blue. So let's long click on it again. All right, so now that we've done that, and then there we go. Now, one other thing, okay, we're gonna go over to the pin tool. Let's convert to a blue. And watch, if I decide, meh, I don't like that. You'll see there's three dots up in the right-hand corner and then you're gonna see a little arrow going back, right? If you don't want the eraser tool, watch this. Bye-bye. Like, it's just so easy to keep this clean and organized. Now, let's see, I'm gonna say, let me write this. Now I'm going to grab the lasso tool, grab what I want, long click, convert, and look at that convert to text. Is this awesome? Then what I can do is send it on its way and share it with the universe. That's super sweet. More thing why we're here. So I've got so many different notes throughout my planner. And I just can't remember where I put something. Does that ever happen to you? Do search. And I'm gonna put fun. I was talking about something fun. What was that thing? And here comes 15 matches on the different pages. How cool is that? I probably say that too much. All right, so back to this. We're gonna go ahead and get, clean this up. I'm just clicked on the eraser. And there we go, we're done with that. And so I wanna get into the, um, the text tool. So we've had fun with the handwriting up here. Um, so I want to go ahead and get into the text tool. So what you do is with your finger, your stylus, you long click, and then you'll see these options pop up. So what we're going to do is click on text, and then we have these options. And we can resize this and place it anywhere that we need to on the planner for any of those little sections, the squares, wherever you want, this is how you use the text tool. Now you have all kinds of options here as well from the text color, that pops up here again. Let's go purple this time. You can choose your fonts. It's got a bunch of them. 
and then this ups the size so you can click on the number and then scroll through or the little a goes the smaller font the bigger a maximizes the font then you got bold italics and then you can wind up dealing with your alignment so here we're going to choose left and let's say today i have meeting in fact, I can voice dictate even. So, right, so your typical screen will pop up. Because I'm recording here, I'm not gonna do that, but I could, you know, just hit the microphone and say, meeting at six o'clock. And it would go ahead and write the text for me. And there we go, that's there. Now what I can do is that lasso tool again, grab it, and there I have tons of different options again. And there we're done. I can move that around, put it wherever it needs and reorganize it. All right, so the next thing I wanna get into is about adding the images. Cause you've probably seen these stickers and you're like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. How do you do this? I've created this sticker book because I'm a little bit of a sticker junkie. I think that started when I was a kid and maybe you're with me if you had those sticker books as a young child. So what I'm going to do is go back to the library. Now you don't have this set up yet. Maybe you've jumped ahead. And I'm gonna go into my sticker book. And so this is the cover and then we're gonna create all this in the other training video. So these are the ones that come with, however the ones at the bottom are created. It's just the kind of the ones in the middle. I'll show you how to create those in a second. And then these are the freebie finds that I have. I'm gonna go ahead and let's grab Happy Weekend. I'm gonna grab the lasso and I'm gonna just, all I have to do is a little circle. If you do it too big, you might pick up the other images. I long click on it and then what I can do is copy and then I go back to my planner. I long click and I paste. Now I can move it around anywhere. I can long click, resize. and move it anywhere I want. It is that easy. All right, so maybe you're wondering, how do I add my personal images? Okay, so let's have some fun with this one. So what you're going to do, long click and image, and it gives you the options where to grab it from. Go to photos. So <laughs> there I am with a cow in Switzerland. So I have the picture in here. As you can see, I can resize it. I can wind up rotating it. How much fun is that? <laughs> so one little secret that I wanna show you is if you long click on it and then options are going to pop up again. And so I want to edit and I want to crop. Did you see that? Edit and then it gave me these other options. Let me walk you through that one more time. So I get tons of options. I can actually save it back to my camera roll. I can copy it and then paste it somewhere else in the planner. I can paste it to my sticker book. So I have it there as a resource or the sticker pages within the planner. I can zoom, um, add text on top, edit, delete, or I guess paste again. So we're going to go to edit. And then I just tap on the picture again and let's go to crop. I love this feature. This is how I create some of the uh, ones that almost look like they're a little PNG with no background. So you have rectangle and then you can move it that way and edit it down. Um, but I, what I wanna show you is the freehand one. So what I can do is just draw around the cow. Let's say I just want her done. And I have the cow and I can put her anywhere. How much fun is this? Okay, so what I wanna show you now is one other little shortcut and that's within the lasso tool which we've already been discussing. So I'll click on the lasso tool, but there's a secret to it. I can click on it more one other time and it gives me the options. So right now I have the lasso tool to grab everything, right? If I have handwriting, images, text boxes, let's say, you've put text on top of a picture 
and you've created a text box. It's all kind of layered. And when you grab the lasso, you're picking up and moving everything. This is where you just turn that off. So let's say I just want to pick up the handwriting. I'm going to make her bigger. And then we're going to write on her. Let's get a different color. Let's get sunshiny yellow. Gosh knows I love my hearts. But I'm like, mm, nope, don't like that. I'm going to grab the lasso tool. And so the lasso tool right now is grabbing, it's on top of the image and the heart. But guess what? Because I selected that, I can move that anywhere. I'll click on it. I'll change the color. And there we go. You can't do this with any other type of planner. You cannot do this with a paper planner, period. Like this is where I say it's just so customizable. Okay, and so what I'm gonna do, let's move this back over the little cow. And we're gonna go back to the lasso tool and I'm gonna turn back on everything because I want to keep it the way it is. And I wanna grab it all. There we go. Now, one other secret I'm gonna share with you with the lasso tool. Let's say I grab this image and I do that. Now they're all mixed up. So what I want to do is if I have the lasso and I have the image selected, it's not gonna know which image that I'm grabbing if they've kind of formed one image, which is what this will do. So what I have to do then is click on the one that I want, edit, and then I'll be able to move that one. So it's the only time that you aren't going to choose the option of the lasso tool. Then I can click on that one, edit, delete the image, and then repaste it so it's on top. So that's just one other little caveat that's a good notes thing. It's not a ridiculously amazing life planning thing. I want to talk about duplicating pages and putting them throughout the different parts of the planner. So what you would do is go to the plus sign, and you can wind up inserting pages there. We won't get into the bookmark yet. You can add a page above, and then you can choose one of GoodNotes standard pages, or there's this screen. So let me go back. So you can go the four squares. So plus gets you to GoodNotes functionality. If you go to the four squares, there's three things at the bottom, thumbnails, the bookmarks and PDF outlines. PDF outlines, we just don't even use. But the bookmarks, I'm gonna show you that one in a second. And then the thumbnails. So here we have this cow page, right? So what we wanna do is we're gonna copy it and we're gonna paste it somewhere else into the planner. And these blank pages, this is how you're gonna utilize these um, with personalizing your planner. So you would pick which one you want. And actually, let's go with the line sheet. Go back to the squares, and then I want to edit, click on it, and then those options at the bottom lit up blue. So we're going to copy, and then once that's copied, we'll hit done. So it's kind of a two-step little tricky process, right? So you have to done, and then you'll go to the plus over there, and we want to insert a page. Now insert a page will give you the good notes options. I'll show you there back that way, but nope, we want our custom one that we love, is we wanna paste. Import is when you're bringing something in from the outside, so we can look at those options just so you see. So you see where you can pull things in to insert throughout your planner, but we wanna paste. So we're gonna paste right there, and just see how that wound up adding that. Now we got two of them there. Now, if I don't want that, I go back to the square. I have this one edit, click that one, and I can trash it. There we go. So these are your master copies that you have down here. So let's talk bookmarks. So we'll go back to our beautiful cow. And let's say this page has important stuff and I wanna bookmark it. So what I'm going to do is hit the four squares, bookmarks. And so with this plus sign, the down arrow gets you back to the planner, the plus sign allows you to enter bookmark title. So we'll put cow, okay, and then it's in the order. You see her down there at the bottom? That will take me right to that page. Resources page, back to the bookmark, 
and there's the cow page. So let me go back to the, all the bookmarks options. This will be blank within your planning system. You create and customize this based upon what you want to have quick access to. This is your personal um, directory outline. I do the months and then I have some business checklists that are imperative to things that need to happen every day. Um, and then I like to have the weeks as well. So I can go ahead and insert any tasks that need to be completed that. All right, so one last thing that I want to show you is let's go back to the cow page. And I'm going to erase this one heart really quick. I am going to lasso and delete this. Let's lasso and delete this. And I want to show you one other fun thing. So in the sticker book, there were some squares and some lines that you saw that I said you create on your own. And so this is where you do it. Click the pin and what color you're going to want this to be. So again, I'm gonna go back to my favorite pink. Let's do this line. And let's switch from ball pin to fountain. That's found in the gear icon. So what I'm also going to do is click on these little options there. So now you see the handwriting tool and the square, circle, and triangle are illuminated. So what I can do Look at it automatically does It does the lines. Do the lasso tool. So any of the tricks that I showed you before work with this. So grab the lasso tool and let's say I just want to grab that one and I want to resize it. I can move it around. I can make it bigger, smaller. Totally customizable. Okay, so the final thing that I want to show you in this video is the backup features because you've got all this work and you've created this amazing planner and you're loving it and your life is in this thing. Please, please, please save it to the cloud or some other kind of backup service. All right, so the very final thing I wanna teach you in this video is actually getting back out of the planner and how to save it all. And right now you see that arrow, it's backing it up to the cloud, everything that we just did. So it's syncing. And so here you'll see in the bottom right hand corner, the options. And this is where you get to decide where you want this backup to happen. And then you have other settings, our GoodNote setting as well. Okay, so those are your key features in the planning system. And I know you're gonna come back to this resource a few more times just to get the rhythm of it, but pretty soon it'll just flow second nature and you will be a app using expert too. So our next training videos are going to actually move into the ritual pages and how you use that because that's really the magic in designing your days in order to live your dream life and slay all your goals. So I can't wait to see you in the next training videos so that we can get into that fun stuff as well.